In this video, we're going to compare a cordless wrist strap against a wrist strap connected and interfaced to ground via a 1 mega ohm resistor ground cord. In this video, one can see the lines moving from left to right, traversing the screen. The bold line is 1,000 volts. Above that bold line is a thin line, and that's at 1,023.8 volts. When it crosses the bold line, it will initiate the timer at 1,000 volts. The K will take place from 1,000 volts to one volt, and that should happen in less than one second. As you see, the grounded operator now makes intimate contact with the charge plate. As you can see, the voltage dropped from a thousand volts to one volt in 0 0.01 seconds. This was because she was wearing a grounded wrist strap. So the operator's wearing a cordless wrist strap. When she touches the plate, you see some decay taking place, but the timer has been initiated and continues to run. Moreover, there is plate voltage of over 240 volts on the plate. There's no decay at this point. And typically, if you compare it with a wrist strap with a ground cord, it would take less than 0.2 seconds, and there would be virtually little to no voltage on the charged plate. a wrist strap connected to ground. She will now pick up the cylinder with her hand and get up and down from a chair. And consequently, you see on the screen that the voltage is not fluctuating, it's pretty much flat line. And therefore, the grounded wrist strap does provide a path to ground and bleed off charge. The is not wearing a grounded wrist strap, but a cordless wrist strap that costs some significant money as ordered out of a catalog. As she gets up and down, from a chair wearing this wrist strap, she is generating all kinds of voltage. You know, she's over 300 volts, and as she traverses up and down, the voltage is continuing to be shown on the screen. And she's peaking out probably over 600 volts. So consequently, this wrist strap is not working at all. However, if she touches the other wrist strap that's connected to ground and gets up and down, it's flatlined. So consequently, that is the only way to make a cordless wrist strap work is by wearing another wrist strap connected to ground with a ground cord.
in this video the operator is wearing a cordless wrist strap she also has stainless steel tweezers there is a static event detector that looks gold with a little window in it and it will turn red it is sensitive to a hundred volts since she's wearing a cordless wrist strap and gets up and down from a chair when she makes contact with the static event detector if she's truly grounded it should not turn red and it triggered red In this video, you can see that the operator is wearing a grounded wrist strap as she lowers it closer to the workstation, and you can see it. And consequently, when she gets up and down from the chair several times, she'll touch the static event detector that is sensitive to 100 volts. And it does not trigger red. As she moves the tweezers away, you can see that the window is clear. She's going to get up and down again and do the same thing. Now she makes intimate contact with the event detector and it is not triggered. Now she will disconnect her wrist strap band and put on the cordless wrist strap and she's going to get up and down again and then make quick contact with the static event detector and you see that it triggered red so therefore it does not bleed off the charge